Bruce was just talking about the new rules. Take us through what you think is going to happen here. How are you going to play this role here in the middle from now on? Oh, I think essentially it's going to open up the, the centre square. Um, you know, in the past you had a, a forward coming around off the back um, and coming in pretty hard, whereas now Ruckman probably have the licence to hit it forward or out in the space. And, um, so if you go in... So is if coming gonna... in, um, if you can put it out in the space, guys like the, the danger fields of the comp, uh, tonight you have Dusty Martin or Paddy Cripps either way, they're going to have that free reign to just run in and hopefully get a one-on-one -on -one up forward or, or have a shot at goal potentially as well. So it's exciting. It is exciting. Nick, now you're normally getting your hand on it first. So what's your preferred option? Are you going to look to hit it forward, like you said, with no one coming off the back, or are you going to come down behind you to a sweeper? Yeah, I think that forward momentum is always, um, you know, essential in, in the modern game. But I think also teams are pretty smart and develop different ways to get around you. So the smart ruckman will tap it behind if, if yeah. teams set up defensively or, or alter it throughout the game. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tonight. So the other thing you can do, BT, you can, you can take it now you don't have the prior opportunities yeah. gone you can actually run up and grab it out of the ruck will you use that at all you can uh, a lot of ruckmen aren't too coordinated you in that do space that. so uh, you will do that. i'm sure the midfielders want extra touches so they won't be too happy with it but we'll give it a go so basically in here perhaps a, a little bit more attacking is yep. the way to sum things up it's particularly if it's a, a, a good clearance out of the middle easy to go so richo as we bring it out of the middle and we go to forward go forward here to centre half forward. What are you thinking the new rule 6-6 six, six and 6 is going to do to this end of the ground, your end? Yeah, well, if you're getting clean clearances and you've got a player like Dangerfield coming through the middle of the ground, the thing you can do now, you have to have a forward and a defender in the goal square. I think that's generally going to be your best one-on-one -on -one forward. That can become a really good weapon because in the last 10 to 12 years, you don't see a lot of genuine one-on-ones in the goal square. So you're definitely going to try and exploit that if you have a mismatch. There's no doubt about that. The other thing that you could do, if there's a great intercept defender, Nick, like you do with Shannon Hearn yep. at West Coast, if they're dominating, if they're intercepting the ball, you might try and drag them back to the goal square as a defensive ploy if you're getting done a little bit there, BT. So are we going to see big bags as a result of that and this? I hope so. I guess it's still a fair way from the centre circle uh, to the to the goal square. But, um, you know, if, if the play does happen pretty quickly, then hopefully, like Richo said, there's more one-on-ones and more of those, those big bags of goals. I know Nick wouldn't say this because yeah. he's too modest, but do you think when he's <laughs> in great form and in good fitness yeah. the chances of him going from there to be that player in the square are high well it's going to be dangerous isn't it nick needs a rest he can go forward and hopefully get a mismatch and a one-on-one -on -one there bt going to get a great run and jump at it nick Nat. you're going to be able to go <laughs> for the launch hopefully see some resting right and kick some goals tonight now the other end of the ground the defensive end jimmy bartell is going to take us through that but the new rule with the kick-ins is uh, very very different this year you've got a little bit more room to play with in terms of meterage coming out from the end of the goal square welcome to you, Jimmy Bartell. What's this going to mean for the kick-ins? Thanks, BT. Well, the first rule to remember now is the ball boys can actually rugby pass it to you if you're standing on the other side of the goal line. So we can get the ball in a lot quicker. You shouldn't be standing in the goal square to get rid of the footy. You can now just play on by hand. You can play on by kick. And those rules still apply. They tell uh, their defensive players, if you see one, just take it and go. So get yourself out of the goal square. Take the ground that you can. Remember now the man on the mark is back further. So unless you hit the one up the middle straight away, that one will become a really dangerous kick because you've got to float it over the top of the man so on the mark, Jimmy, which the is man, really... The, so man, the man on the mark is going to be... About where you are there. Roughly here, isn't he? Yeah, so that, so that, that's a lot of ground. Yeah, so unless you take that really quick, that's going to become a dangerous kick. So now the most dangerous kick is about where Richo is, 30 to 50 metres out, because Richo can then go on and play on from there really quick, or as we'll show. So you get yourself out of the square. Oh, I hope I hear you there, Richo. Oh, you got me there, Jim. So you, you imagine Nick Newman and uh, Cade Simpson hitting that one, and the next player can run an angle. We've almost got Dermy from the other yep. station there running a little bit of an angle. But <laughs> the switch kick is get now on. You can open up oh, the whole ground from away. that position. <laughs> Richo could play defensive. He can go slow down the line, but the ball's a long way oh, from your goal. Really? But it opens up the far side of the ground to really attack around the opposition. So it, it is interesting because from Nick's perspective, a lot more space there. From your perspective, a lot of space. And from the, the defender as well. Yeah, so the, the, now the bailout kick, which used to be almost on the junction, you know, 50 metres out, is probably now 70 metres out. And the opposition's going to set a lot deeper. So if you can find one between 30 and 50, you can either then go quickly and go over the top of it, or you can open up the far side of the ground. If you're setting up the far side of the ground and you turn over, it's easy for them to roll around and defend. My question is how long before the coaches close all this down? We're going to find out, aren't we? We'll find out tonight. Yeah, what, about, what about the barrel down the middle? Surely we're going to see a few Come on, barrels. Jimmy. I'd love to see the barrel. <laughs> but, but you can actually get a running start on the barrel and come out. If no one's manning the mark pretty strongly, 
you can actually get a nice 10, 15 metre head start before you let it rip. So, so when you look where we are from the goal square, that's a lot of space to play on, isn't it? So Will Shannon Hearn go down the middle a bit. Shannon yeah, Hearn, he thinks a pretty, pretty good drop punt, but essentially what these new rules does bring is obviously more scoring, hopefully, and hopefully tonight we see you know a, a big scoreboard at the end of the game. Hey Bruce, we're all very, very excited about it. Back to you.